Top 10 Foods to Eat When You Have Food Poisoning Food poisoning occurs when pathogens contaminate food or drinking water. It is unpleasant, yet relatively common. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, one in six Americans experience food poisoning each year. It might be difficult to consider eating after getting food poisoning, but eating the correct things and getting plenty of fluids will actually help speed up your body's recovery. Knowing when to start eating and what to consume after food poisoning is important. In today's video, we will share with you the top 10 foods that are easy on the stomach and can help you get your strength and appetite back. Number 1. Soup or Broth Do not force feed yourself to take solid foods if your body is refusing them. Eat semi-solid foods instead, such as soup or broth. They should be kept down by your body and will aid in replenishment. In addition to being excellent sources of hydration, these water-based soups and broths also contain vital minerals like potassium, calcium, and sodium that your body can lose when having irregular bowel movements or vomiting. Bone broth naturally contains collagen, which helps to heal the inner lining of the gut while also improving nutrient absorption and digestion. Soups and broths can also be served as a great base for the addition of natural herbs like licorice, ginger, fennel, mint, and others that have natural anti-inflammatory characteristics and help calm your stomach and promote digestion. Number 2. Yogurt if you end up taking antibiotics for food poisoning, they not only kill the bug in your system, hopefully, but also eliminate the beneficial bacteria that were previously living there. Therefore, it is advised to take a probiotic supplement to replenish the good bacteria in your digestive tract, which will aid in returning your stomach to its pre-infection state. Studies also show that probiotics help shorten diarrheal episodes. So why not choose a probiotic from a natural source? Yes, I am talking about yogurt. If you can tolerate it, it is perfect for you. Probiotics found in plain Greek yogurt help your stomach regulate better. Also, it is a great source of water, protein, essential vitamins, and minerals, and provides hydrating effects along with many other health benefits. Number 3. Banana If you have food poisoning, you should follow a bland diet. This means that the food should be soft, not spicy, and low in dietary fiber. A banana is a perfect match. It is light and simple to digest and contains starch, which is healthy for the digestive tract and strengthens the stomach lining. According to a 2019 systematic review, banana pulp has been linked to a reduction in diarrhea and constipation. Bananas are also high in potassium, so they replace the potassium you lose through vomiting and diarrhea and help with the absorption of water and electrolytes. Depending on the rest of your diet, you may need to consume a banana once or twice a day. Number 4. Coconut Water Coconut water is a favorite summer drink because it keeps you hydrated. It also helps renew electrolytes, which are especially helpful if you have a bout of food poisoning. A loss of electrolytes may lead to serious complications, including seizures, cardiac arrest, or coma. Coconut water also makes sure your stomach has enough fluid. It helps soothe the digestive system. It contains lauric acid, which when consumed, converts into monolaurin. It lessens any digestive discomfort caused by parasites and can kill or inactivate numerous parasites and ringworm species. The best time to drink coconut water is early morning on an empty stomach. Number 5. Mashed Potatoes Another stomach-friendly option for when you're feeling ropey is mashed potatoes, but without the addition of milk, cream, or butter. Even though potatoes are a starchy food and easy to digest, mashing them into a puree helps break down the fibers, making them even easier to digest. Additionally, they offer vital nutrients, including potassium, which balances electrolytes. To make mashed potatoes, boil them and remove the peel as it is hard to digest. Then mash the potatoes and add a little salt before eating. We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it so far. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Let's move forward with the video. Number 6. Pineapple Pineapple, or pineapple juice, is a nutritional powerhouse, as it is full of vitamins A and C. In addition to its rich vitamin profile, it also contains the enzyme bromelain. 
It is present in the stems and fruit of the pineapple plant, supports the immune system, and most importantly, aids in digestion. It helps break down the compounds in the stomach and lessens the symptoms of food poisoning. You can also make a refreshing pineapple slushy. Simply combine one cup of pineapple chunks, crushed ice, and water in a blender. It will hydrate you and soothes your stomach. Number 7. Rice You know how we always encourage you to choose whole grains and how every time you eat white rice with your Thai curry while your friend across the table asks for brown, you experience a tinge of guilt? Food poisoning is your free pass to skip the brown rice as it is high in fiber, which is generally very healthful but difficult for your stomach to digest. So it is white rice all the way. You can also substitute it with sauceless pasta. Rice water is also beneficial for food poisoning. It not only prevents dehydration but also calms an inflamed stomach and intestines. To make rice water, boil a liter of water, add a cup of rice, and cook for around 10 minutes. You can also add some ginger or cumin for additional benefits. Number 8. Applesauce If you are unable to eat an apple a day, perhaps a cup of applesauce can keep the doctor from having to come back. Similar thing with the fiber here. Applesauce has less fiber than whole apples, making whole apples a better choice in general, but not if you have an upset stomach. Basically, feed yourself like a baby. With applesauce, you can consume something healthy in the simplest form to digest. Additionally, applesauce contains pectin, which can ease diarrhea. As a gel-forming fiber that easily absorbs water, it normalizes the stool. Studies also indicate that people who consumed 24 grams of pectin daily experienced fewer constipation and diarrhea symptoms. Number 9. Toast Another bland, low-fiber food that can help neutralize excess stomach acid and stops diarrhea is toast. Due to the breakdown of some carbohydrates during toasting, it is easier to digest than bread. However, make sure to eat the toast made from white bread as the one prepared from fiber-rich whole grains could worsen the symptoms of food poisoning. And avoid topping it with peanut butter, avocado, or a lot of butter as the aim is to keep it bland and simple to digest. Number 10. Apple Cider Vinegar Despite being naturally acidic, apple cider vinegar has an alkaline effect because of the way it is metabolized in the body. As a result, it can reduce a variety of food poisoning symptoms. It can kill the bacteria and calm the stomach lining, providing you with immediate relief. Additionally, apple cider vinegar is a rich source of enzymes and minerals that can protect the body from the damaging effects of infection. To make this quick fix, simply combine two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with a cup of boiling water. For maximum benefit, sip on this mixture every couple of hours. So, bring these foods to use and get going! Also, stay away from fatty and spicy foods. Start slowly with small meals to see how your stomach responds to the food, and stay away from foods with strong scents since they may cause nausea or vomiting. Also, it is important to avoid what made you sick in the first place. Eat thoroughly cooked and served hot food. Wash your hands before eating, stay away from tap water and ice, and do not consume unpasteurized milk or dairy products. If you do not follow these tips, there is a high risk of getting food poisoning again. Do you find this video informative or helpful? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy!